Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. And you see who we're going to be talking about. Yes, because she made... Um front page news yes she did <laughs> but i hope she continues to keep the health that she has because sometimes when people are given a lot you know out the blue very quick fast in a hurry they don't be around to enjoy what they call their sales have won okay and i'm just saying that's my theory you see how we um what's her name uh wendy williams was up and at the top of her game, and she, she was talking about people and putting people on blast and this, that, and the third. And, you know, Nene was kind of hanging with that circle. Yep. Mm-hmm. The illuminated ones. And Miss Wendy went from being like that to where we see her at today. And you think that's a coincidence? No, I think that's on purpose. I think that's on purpose. Because she got a little bit too big for herself. So, they got her looking like that now. You see what I'm saying? So, Nene, watch out. What you think you got may not be something you want. But anyway, we got Heavy.com. They had put an article out on Miss Nene Leaks and her case that she was uh, forging ahead with. And the person named Tom Clear Cleary had wrote it up for us. He titled it Housewives Lawsuit against Andy Cohen settlement rumor. Okay, all of this is allegedly over here, but if it starts making make sense, then it might be right, okay? <clears throat> a federal judge has granted a motion to dismiss the racial discrimination lawsuit brought by former Real Housewives of Atlanta star NeNe Leakes against Bravo, NBC Universal, Andy Cohen, and others, lawyers for the two sides, jointly requested a judge dismiss the case without prejudice on August 19th of this year. That means leaks could refile the lawsuit again in the future. Okay? If there is a future. Okay? I'm just saying. For those who hear me, hear me well. For those who don't, read between the lines. All right? The court filing obtained by Heavy does not reveal any details about why the case was settled and attorneys for both leaks and the defendants haven't commented. According to federal court records from the Northern District of Georgia, U.S. District Judge Thomas the W. Uh, Judge Thomas W. Thrasher Jr. A Thrash Jr. approved the dismissal and terminated the case on August 26 of this year. The lawsuit was filed by Luke, by Leaks in April of 2022. She starred on The Real Housewives of Atlanta for the show's first seven seasons before returning for season 10 and 12. She was 10 through 12. She left the show a second time in 2020. Along with Cohen, Bravo, and NBC Universal, the lawsuit also named True Entertainment, Truly Original, LLC, Shari Levine, Stephen Weinstock, and Lori Esklin as defendants. Leaks accused those involved with creating and producing the Real Housewives of Atlanta's franchise and other Bravo reality shows of creating and airing, creating and airing on TV racially segregated workplace in which racially insensitive and inappropriate conduct is condoned and allowed to fester, often creating a discriminatory and hostile work environment for the diverse talent who are working in their workplaces according to the lawsuit. 
Leaks also accused Cohen and other executives involved in the show of blacklisting her from working with the network after she made accusations of racism. Leaks lawyers wrote, for years NBC and Bravo have run the Real Housewives as a segregated franchise, which or where certain shows are treated as white shows and others as black, with little if any overlapping or mixing between the two. The segregated <coughs> nature of the franchise is reminiscent of the earlier days of separate but equal. That is, the shows are racially separated, purported, purported to be equal, but in fact they are not. Okay, there's rumors swirling that Nene Leakes received a multi-million dollar settlement to drop the silver lawsuit. The joint motion filed to dismiss the lawsuit states all parties consent and stipulate to the foregoing dismissal. No party will seek recovery of costs or attorney's fees in any submission to this court. The filing is mostly filled with pre procedural details and does not mention any settlement or out-of-court agreement between the two sides or that it will be handled through arbitration. But All About the Tea reported on August 23rd that a source said leaks agreed to a financial settlement to drop the case. The site wrote that Nene settled for around $4.5 million hush money. In exchange for the cash, Nene signed a confidentiality agreement, non-disclosure, with non-disparagement clause. This means that moving forward, Nene cannot publicly make disparaging remarks about Bravo, Andy Cohen, and its production companies. Before the surprising news that the case was being dismissed, the two sides had requested time to discuss whether Leaks was legally allowed to file suit against Cohen and Bravo. According to court documents obtained by Heavy, attorneys for the defendant said Leaks' contract required her to bring all legal disputes to a third-party arbitrator in New York. Leaks' attorneys argued she had the right to sue in Georgia federal court. Leaks lawyers wrote in their initial filing to try to shield itself from public scrutiny of its unlawful employment-related practices like those detailed here in NBC, Bravo, and all true have also required as a condition of employment Mrs. Leaks and others to submit to boilerplate, non-negotiable, take it or leave it, standard terms and conditions, and arbitration provisions in order to be allowed to work on the Real Housewives show. See, that's something new they're putting in now. So, hey, if anybody else want to try to sue them for the same thing Nene called herself doing, no way, no how. <laughs> and they might go back and amend some contracts to the ones that are there that they may think might do the same thing. But it'll be across the board, uh, redo over of contracts to put that stipulations or those stipulations into that contract because they ain't trying to have this lawsuit do nothing no more it don't even exist and if Nene want to continue to get her payments they paid her hush money okay they pay her hush money that's why i'm so confused about when they saying um Either parties could come back and file again. That's kind of stupid because if she's signing a non-disclosure agreement and she's accepting the money, it should be a loophole to saying she can't do this anymore. Okay, because she's not going to be employed with them, I'm sure. So I don't, this part is still fuzzy with me. But going back to the article, it says, Leaks lawyers did not hesitate when it came to calling out other probabilities in the lawsuit, including her former Real Housewives of Atlanta co-star Kim Zosek Beerman. The silver complaint stated housewives Kim Zosek Beerman, the sole white housewife on Real Housewives of Atlanta, repeatedly engaged in racial offensive behavior rather than subjecting her to appropriate remedial action. Uh, NBC Bravo and or True rewarded Zosiac Beerman with special perks and privileges denied to the black housewives. Ms. Leakes and the other black housewives speak up. But nothing is done to stop Zosiac Beerman racially offense behavior. Berman responded to the accusations in the lawsuit in June, calling them ridiculous. Berman added during her appearance on the nightcap with Carlos King that I'll deal with her when she's done with them. 
you can't say it's you can't say things that aren't true and try to defame somebody. The lawsuit also named former Vanderpump Rules star Stacia Schroeder and Kristen Dort. The lawsuit stated the problem is also seen on Vanderpump Rules. In 2015, there was an attempt to diversify um, by the hiring of Faith Stores. But after departing the show, Stores publicly expressed that she, as the only black cast member, felt treated differently than the other cast members. Among other things, she reported being subjected to inappropriate race-based comments, like her hair being called nappy, and even two white cast members, Stacy Schroeder and Kristen Dutch, uh, Dote, making a false report to the police that Stores had committed a crime. Leak's attorney added, initially, Bravo did nothing. It did not publicly condemn Schroeder or Dote treatment of Mrs. Stores, who was effectively pushed off the show. Only much later in or about June 2020, Bravo reportedly terminated the contracts of Schroeder and Dute. All right. Now, the only thing I got to say about it. Okay. We saw Wendy Williams in a very good seated position. Mm-hmm. We saw John Rivers up there trying to, you know, say something against the illuminated ones. And Nene gonna come away with this. And she already said that people were following her. Yes, that's what she said. And some of her, you know, YouTube videos are just on her uh well not YouTube videos, but she was on her platform saying she's being followed. She want all the harassment to stop. This, that, and the third. I'm like, who following you, baby? But, honey, they're going to definitely be on your tracks now, honey. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But that's all I got for this video, guys. Y'all like it, love it. Got to have more. Y'all know where to come. And I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.